sharing with you guys a southern staple for brunch, shrimp and grits. And that's not all guys, we're also going to be making some tasty mimosas. Alright guys, so let's kick this episode off right. One Sunday a month, I will be hosting Vibe Brunch Sundays on Mel's Kitchen. I know a lot of you guys might be asking, what exactly is Vibe Brunch Sundays? So if you know me, my daily mantra is good vibes only. And it's basically where vibrant soul meets vibrant brunch dishes. So one Sunday a month, I'll be featuring a new brunch recipe. So pull up a seat with me and let the good times roll. So on this episode, I will be sharing a Southern staple brunch favorite, shrimp and grits in six easy steps, and I will show you how to make a bubbly mimosa as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the ingredients. So there are many variations of shrimp and grits. There's Cajun, New England, and Southern to name a few. My recipe will be a fusion of Southern low country with some Cajun tang. Shrimp and grits is one of those dishes that's built of many components, but only requires a few ingredients. So you are going to need the following ingredients. You're going to need a pound and a half of shrimp, four cups of chicken broth, one cup of whole milk, two cups of grits, some bacon, four slices is what I have here. And now for the veggies, you will need some tomatoes half a lemon for presentation purposes, some green onions and parsley for garnishings, half a cup of minced garlic, and now you are also going to be needing three-fourths cups of butter and olive oil. You're gonna also need some cheese, and this is certainly optional, but some shredded sharp cheese is the way to go. If you're not big on cheese, you can leave it out and still get the same tasty result. Now for the seasonings, you are going to need half a cup of Old Bay and some Cajun seasoning. I use the Tony Saturi brand and I mix these two seasonings together. You're also going to need some paprika, some salt, and uh, salt and pepper to taste. Lastly, you are going to need some French bread for a toasted garlic bread as a complimentary pairing for your shrimp and grits. This is optional, but I will be showing you how to plate your dish with it. You can cut it either thin or thick like so. And that's all you really need for ingredients. Now for step one, we are gonna take our paprika, salt, pepper, Old Bay, Cajun seasoning mix, and marinade, our clean, peeled, and deveined shrimp with it. Make sure that you get all of the seasoning on your shrimp and coat it evenly, like so. Let it seasoned, let it sit for about five minutes. Ooh, y'all hear that? That's the sound of some smoky bacon sizzling. Yum! Now for step two, I went ahead and cut my bacon in pieces and added it to my cast iron skillet. Now they say if you aren't cooking with a cast iron skillet, you are not cooking at all. So if you haven't already got one of these things, go ahead and do so. They only retail for about $20. And look at that, mmm. Now I've gone ahead and moved the bacon out of the skillet and using the same oil that the bacon produced, I'm going to go ahead and move along with step three and use this leftover bacon to saute my tomatoes. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my salt, pepper, paprika, garlic into my skillet and mix. Mmm, look at all those colors. So delicious. Now step four is a crucial step because we will be adding our shrimp into our skillet. It is very important to cook your shrimp on both sides for four minutes each, a total of eight minutes. You don't wanna overcook your shrimp, so make sure to keep an eye on it. And very important, make sure to mix, mix, mix along the way. Alright y'all, at this point go ahead and add your parsley garnishings into your skillet and let it do its thing. Look how pretty that is. Ah, the infusion of all the seasonings and the garnishings. Mmm. Delicious. And just for some color, I went ahead and added some more tomatoes on top. 
All right, now guys, we are off to step five, which is boiling and cooking our grits. Go ahead and add four cups of chicken broth to your pot and cook on medium high. Now, once your pot comes to a boil, go ahead and add two cups of grits and mix. Next, you're going to go ahead and add your butter and then your milk. Next, you want to go ahead and add your salt and pepper to taste for flavoring. All right, y'all, so next we're going to go ahead and add our cheese and mix. Again, this is optional, but I love some cheesy grits. Make sure you are mixing your grits so they aren't lumpy and provide a nice consistency and texture for you. All right, y'all. That looks so good and cheesy, yum, yummy. All right, y'all, so once it's done, um, you're gonna go ahead and cook this for about five minutes on medium high. What you wanna go ahead and do is just make sure that it is um, to a nice liking of yours, a nice consistency, and then you're gonna go ahead and set it to the side for now. All right, y'all, so last and sixth step is to toast your French bread. On a pot running on medium low, what you wanna go ahead and do it is add some butter and then add your French bread. Make sure to cook your bread front and back and then on the sides as well. Mmm, that is looking great. All right, y'all. So now that we are almost done, it's time to plate our shrimp and grits. I am very big on food presentation. So I will be showing you guys how to properly plate this. You wanna first add your grits to a bowl and then use your leftover oil that's coated with all the Cajun seasonings and pour it into your bowl and let it evenly disseminate. Next, you wanna go ahead and use your green onions and parsley and kind of garnish it all over your plate. Yum, how delicious does this look, guys? And if you're cooking for friends, they will surely appreciate the extra step that you took to plate it and present it as if they're getting it from their favorite brunch restaurant. So now it's time to pop champagne. We are almost done. Let's get it. Hey y'all, and to top off vibey brunch Sundays, we are gonna go ahead and make some mimosas. So what you wanna do is add some raspberries to your flute, fill your flute up with some half orange juice and half champagne, Oh yeah, look at that. Wait until we add the champagne. Yes, yes, and yes. Go ahead and add your champagne and let it bubble. Make sure to top it off. Uh-oh, oops, a little over just never hurt nobody. And voila guys, delicious southern shrimp and grits, just like how it is served at the restaurants. Now again, since this is completely optional, at this point you could go ahead and add your garlic toasted bread and sprinkle your bacon right on top. Mmm, delicious. Happy Sunday, y'all. Well, that is all, guys. Thank you so much for supporting me on all platforms and tuning in to another episode of Mel's Kitchen. Please make sure to share, subscribe, like, and comment. I love interacting with you guys and I love the feedback. Let me know what you think of this recipe, plate it, and send me a picture. Again, thank you for tuning in and see you guys next week for another episode of Mill's Kitchen.